People have been asking me, Windows 10, should I install it? Well, let me ask you this. Do you think it would be cool if you got in your car and it had been repainted, drives a little bit faster, handles a little bit better, but the radio controls all got shifted around and uh, the, the cruise control was modified so it didn't quite work the same way as it did before. And sometimes it doesn't quite work, but usually it works. Uh, and occasionally you'll go to the gas station and you can't open the gas flap to the car. Um, but that is interesting to you to kind of figure out why the car is doing all that stuff. And by the way, it was free getting all these upgrades to the car. If you answered yes to these questions, then you should install Windows 10. If you think that sounds like maybe a little bit of a waste of time, even if the car, even if it was free and the car is going to work a little bit better, maybe you should wait just a few more months for some of the little bumps in the road to get smoothed out. But what about me? I have to confess, I've been running the beta for our Windows 10 for about six months, and it's been a great experience. I really like it. It's improved my experience on my Microsoft Surface Pro um, immensely, and I think it'll be a great thing. I'm installing it on my uh, daily driver work uh, computer next week, in fact, and over the next few months, we'll be rolling it out and testing it uh, on all of our systems here at Clever Ducks, and pretty soon, um, we'll start doing pilots for some of our customers. Look, at, at the end of the day, Windows 10 is going to provide a lot of benefits to business, but we want to make sure that it's going to be improving productivity and not slowing it down. So it's not time yet, but we'll not let you know when it is.